Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is going to be your February 2023 reading. Um, for all Leo placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see, what is the angel numbers? Spirit for Leo placements for Jan I'm sorry, February 2023. I did the year ahead last month, so that was, you know, January 3. <laughs> so let's see, what is the angel numbers for my Leo placement spirit for January? I'm sorry, February 2023. I got to get it right. What is the angel number spirit for my Leo placements for February 2023? All right, what we got for Leos? Oh, wow. 26, I am tactful. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with inventive, innovative solutions to meet their needs. And 777, I'm in the flow. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is a part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. Okay. And number one, I am innovative. You are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and reach success. Okay, so you could definitely see some issues or some struggles um, in the month of February, Leo. However, I feel like you're in the flow. Um, I feel like it's gonna be all right. You have this desire to succeed and you will. So let's see, what is the message from Spirit for my Leo placements for February 2023, Spirit? What is the message from Spirit for Leo placements for February 2023, Spirit? Let's see what your message from Spirit is. Our souls are evolving and learning lessons. Sometimes we have difficult past karma to work through. Acknowledge your difficulties and heal from them. If a relationship doesn't last, maybe the universe is telling you it wasn't supposed to. And if you're wondering if this will if this will happen, the answer is no. Okay. So you could be struggling with a situation with a relationship that's ending in February. Um, spirit's trying to let you know it wasn't supposed to. Something about that connection just makes you kind of feel like it was holding you back. Um, there was some kind of karma maybe you had to work through, and you did. So leave it at that. Um, let's see what is spirit messages for Leo placements for January. I'm sorry, February 2023. What is spirit messages for Leo placements for February 2023? Spirit messages. Dang. <laughs> you have the red cardinal. Slow down and take in the moment. Reconnect with who you truly are. So I feel like you were dealing with a situation here with someone who was kind of keeping you at a place of doing or being involved in things you really weren't. It really wasn't a part of you. It really wasn't who you are. And the panda, very aware of your environment and, the, and all the energies around you. And the tree, you're on a path of enlightenment. So... And the penny, funny, because you had the penny at the bottom of the deck last month, I remember. We are all one, we are all spirit. So I definitely get this strong feeling here, Leo, that it's it's whatever you're doing, you're doing something to um to help others. And I feel like you've been dealing with a situation with someone here that kind of like got you out of tune with what you or who you truly are so it's it wasn't supposed to last spirit what is the tarot cards for leo placements for february 2023 something wasn't supposed to last like you're on a path of enlightenment and some kind of relationship you're dealing with whether it's romantic or you know platonic it definitely was not it wasn't true like it wasn't your vibe leo dang It wasn't your vibe, Leo. It just wasn't. You're on the path of, to, of enlightenment and someone and whoever, whatever, or whoever you were with, in that relationship with, they're not. So, and it's like, you're very aware of the environment and the energies around you. The Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Page of um, Wands. I feel like... It feels like you are, you know, it could be an air sign. You could be the fire sign. Like, you are more of a excited, like, um, you're a go-getter, right? Like, you do things. Like, you get excited and you get, like, these great plans and ideas in order. And, like, you pursue them. Like, you're adventurous, right? But then we have the page of swords where I feel like you could have been dealing with an energy of, like, someone who was more of a curious soul. Someone who was more, like into speaking about shit but not doing shit right but i feel like the ten of cups here kind of like for some reason there was a lot of like harmony in this situation 
Yeah, two of cups, three of wands, queen of swords. Definitely dealing with an air sign here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there was a lot of feelings and emotions involved in this. So let's see. What are the tarot cards, Spirit, for Leo placements? We have the nine of cups reversed, but you just, you weren't happy. This wasn't fulfilling your wishes. This wasn't what you wanted. And right, see the page of wands again. Like, you're enthusiastic. You're excited. Like, you are, like, if anything, fire energy always is about action. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you, you're, an, you're into action. And the moon card, I'm telling you, there are some deep emotions in this situation. And the five of cups and the two of swords and the three of swords. But I do feel like you were very much in denial about this. Like, you were lonely in this connection Sorry, you were lonely in this connection more than anything else. You weren't happy. The magician, the strength card, that's your energy in the Ten of Swords. So I feel like you want something different. You do. And because you're manifesting something different, you're going to have to be brave. You're going to have to be strong because it's going to hurt. This ending is going to hurt. If a relationship doesn't last, maybe the universe is telling you it wasn't supposed to. Because honestly, Three of Swords, Two of Swords, you were in denial. You were in a lot of denial. And I feel like it is a loss for you. But again, Five of Cups, you... Just really had a hard time walking away from this because you didn't know what to look forward. Like you didn't know what you should be aware of or what you should look forward to or like what's going to happen. Like it's just like it's more of the fear of what's going to happen than anything else. And if you're wondering if something is going to happen, it's not going to happen. I don't know what that is, but it feels like almost like if you and this person are going to come back together at some point in time. I don't know. I think you're very innovative, Leo. And you have a lot of like different ideas and, you know, projects that you want to pursue and you're very excited about. It. And this, whoever this person is, they're not really the vibe you are. What's the cosmic message for Leo placement spirit for February, 2023? Somebody's just not, they're not where you are. Like they're just not. You have number 34, unconditional love. The ultimate lesson all of us have to learn is unconditional love, which includes not only others, but ourselves as well. You have a choice between two doors, unconditional love and conditional love. Unconditional love is to love without judgment, conditions, expectations, and demands. It is love that stems from the heart space and is compromised completely of pure love, forgiveness, and compassion. Conditional love is to love with conditions, expectations, attachments, fear, and judgments. Love is given and received freely, as long as the conditions of the love contract are being met. When others fail to meet the requirements of the love contract, love is lost and replaced with issues of fear distrust and doubts to have unconditional love is to first love yourself entirely when you can completely love yourself with all your imperfections you will have greater love and compassion towards others if you are in a space where your love is conditional ask yourself i'm sorry i lost my place ask yourself from where does this condition stem most often you will find limiting thoughts and beliefs lingering in your subconscious. Deeper still, you may uncover the wounded child within you. It is to this child that love, understanding, and compassion must be shared. Now that you see the inner wounds within you and the gentleness of love, you are better able to see the wounded child within others. You will clearly see the part in them that is most in need of love. This does not mean that you must stay in the situation that does not serve your highest good. Sometimes loving unconditionally means having to walk away. Affirmation, I love all facets of myself and send any hurt or wounds within me and com within me love and compassion associated chakras is the sacred associated chakras are the sacred and the heart right because this is part of your purpose leo and somebody just isn't on the vibe you're on baby they're just not and your excitement like you're a go-getter you're not a person who sits and talks about what needs to be done baby you go get it done and you're just kind of at a different place than this person is so there you have it my lovely leos that is your february 2023 quick little read um i hope you guys enjoy don't forget i do this daily for my patreon members if you would like to join my patreon um i'll try and remember to put the link down below for you guys um but also if you would like to book a reading if you would like to purchase one of my decks you can also do so through my website alchemygoddess.love that'll also be in the description down below all right love you see you next month leos peace